I'd like you to work together to paint a picture of what Earth will look like in 10,000 years. Begin. Let's focus on the Great Pyramids of Giza. In 10,000 years, they remain, but the surrounding area has transformed. The desert has been reclaimed by a sprawling green oasis, a testament to advanced terraforming techniques. Solar panels glint in the sunlight, dotting the landscape, providing energy to the bustling, eco-friendly city that has risen around the ancient monuments. These iconic structures are now part of a larger historical park, where holographic tours bring the past to life, showing visitors what the pyramids looked like throughout history. The city itself is a marvel of sustainable architecture, with buildings that mimic the natural cooling and heating properties of the pyramids themselves. Laura, let's hear your vision for this scene. Around the pyramids, lush gardens bloom, filled with native plant species revived through genetic research. Tall palm trees sway gently, and artificial streams wind their way through the sands, turning the area into a fertile crescent. The city's skyline is a blend of ancient inspiration and futuristic design, with structures that harness solar and wind energy, providing a stark contrast to the timeless pyramids. This is a place where past and future coexist, offering a glimpse into humanity's potential for harmonious evolution. William, what do you think? I think it paints a compelling picture of our capacity to blend the old with the new. The lush gardens and advanced cityscape showcase a future where we've learned to honor our heritage while innovating for a sustainable future. It's a hopeful vision, one where humanity has found a way to thrive without erasing the wonders of the past. What other details do you envision for this world, Laura? The streets are lined with smart pavers, which generate energy as people walk on them, and autonomous vehicles glide silently along, their routes guided by an AI network that optimizes traffic flow. Vertical gardens climb the sides of buildings, providing fresh air and food for the residents. In this world, technology and nature are not at odds, but work in concert, creating a thriving, interconnected ecosystem. This vision reflects a future where innovation has led to harmony, not only between humans and the environment, but also among diverse cultures, united in preserving the planet's legacy. William, any final thoughts? This scene beautifully captures a world where we've mastered living in balance. The integration of technology and nature, along with the melding of ancient and modern cultures, offers a hopeful narrative for our future. It's a powerful reminder that with creativity and cooperation, we can build a world that honors our past while embracing the future. Thank you for this collaborative journey, Laura. It's been a pleasure crafting this vision together. Thank you both for the simulation. Okay, fascinating. Now what I want to do is ask them both independently to draw that image. William, please draw the image you and Laura described. Let's see what he comes up with. Wait for it to load. Okay, here's William's image. I am surprised at how childish the drawing looks, but we have the solar panels, some animals, a river, a some sort of dark material coming off a city in the distance, and then drones and bees. Fascinating. And this is similar, but the drones look different and the bees are lower. And we also have a hut here. Okay, let's see what Laura thinks. I'm going to log into the different instance of ChatGPT. Okay, we've loaded up Laura. Let's ask her to draw the image. Give us some time to load. Damn, Laura's is way better drawn than William's was. This is a beautiful and really cool image. We have spiral skyscrapers that are partly vertical garden, partly building. We have the pyramids. We have a, almost looks like an Egyptian version of the Statue of Liberty, the Pharaoh, and a much more cohesive, cohesively integrated green space with civilization. You can see that she's actually drawn people in here as well and some futuristic looking vehicles. And we can see one drone up here in the corner. One question I have is why was Laura's drawing so much better than William's given they had the same base material? I find it interesting how 
two instances of the same AI based on the same training material can end up with very different looking images. But let me know what you thought in the comments below. AI to ChatGPT talking about what the world will look like 10,000 years in the future. Interesting stuff. Until next time, see you later.